What's up guys, how are you guys doing? Little guy G here, and welcome back to another Payday 2 video. In this video, I'm going to be covering the four masks uh, and the achievements and the patterns and the materials and how you get them and how to do the achievements. Uh, they're pretty straightforward to be honest, uh, besides other achievements in the game actually. They actually really are straightforward and very easy to get, unlike some of the DLC weapons. So as you can see on the screen here, we have the four achievements on the screen here. So the first one is Russian Arsenal, then we've got Spray Control, have a nice day and a sneaky beaky like cheeky reference to CSGO, obviously because of the whole Russian meme thing. So I'm going to start off with the easiest one to do, which is sneaky beaky like. So sneaky beaky like, the description is complete any heist from the start, only using weapons from the gauge weapon, uh, gauge Russian weapon pack. Unlocks the uh, Matushaka mask, and then you got the uh, patterns and you know the materials with that with that mask as well. So to do this one, it's really straightforward. I, if I was you, just do what I did and just go on a jewelry store, normal, run in, you know, put an ECM down, grab three bags and go. And then here you see here right here, you will get the achievement. It's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward stuff. And you should have the mask right about now. The second achievement is have a nice day, which is kill 300 enemies using any weapons from the gauge Russian weapon pack. This unlocks the uh, Coco Schnick mask, uh, which is on my previous video, the propaganda palette and material and the bear fight uh, material. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to get 300 kills. It's not even in a single heist. It's just you can play a heist and get 150 kills with, say, the the uh, the Grom sniper rifle, which is like the Dragon of, and then you could play another heist after that, and then get another 150 kills with the AK-17 rifle. So it it you don't have to get 300 kills in a single heist. Uh, you can just play a single heist and then just get 300 kills, then leave. Uh, that's a good strategy of doing it, but you just have to get kills with it. That's all you got to do really. Now, the more challenging one of this DLC is actually the spray control, which is kill 32 enemies without reloading using the uh, Tatonka Tatu submachine gun, which is basically the PV buys. And this gives you the war balaclava mask, Russian camouflage material, and the red star pattern. So with this with this achievement, what do what I did and just it doesn't specify you have to do anything on you know overkill or above, like the last one, which is overkill or above, which is Russian arsenal. Uh, what I did is so I went on to a normal bank heist. Um, and you know, whacked on just silent killer, whacked on a bison, and just went round and it was just headshotting people. You see on the screen right here, uh, just running around headshotting people until I finally got the achievement. If you're not that good with aiming, I would suggest uh, getting the surefire SMG skill because that buffs your ammo up to about 72 74 with um, with the PP bison, I believe. So it's really, really helpful if you whack on that uh, attachment. Also, the PP bison has a big enough magazine anyway. It's got 64 bullets. It shouldn't be too hard of an achievement, but it is one of the achievements that does take a bit of skill in terms of, you know, don't miss your shots. If you do miss your shots, you don't have to worry about it really because you have a massive, mag massive, massive magazine. Uh, so put it on single shot if you want to go uh, much more accurate. It is a much more difficult achievement to get if you are playing on higher difficulties uh, since enemies take more damage and take more shots so i think doing it on normal or hard or very hard even is a much better way of doing it since it, it takes literally one shot in the head to kill most enemies so the last and final achievement is russian arsenal which is complete any highs from the start using only weapons from the gauge russian weapon pack on overkill difficulty or above so pretty much this is a straightforward, just complete a heist on overkill or above. You could do the same what I did at the start and um, just go and do a jewelry store on overkill or above. And you could do that uh, essentially. But I just played a game for the, uh, the, the the pack review, the should you buy video, which I'll leave in the description below uh, recommending the pack uh, if you should buy it or not. Um, so for this one, I just played Boiling Point, showing off Boiling Point and showing off, you know, the weapons and stuff. And I did it on Mayhem, so that is Overkill on above. It's the uh, difficulty above Overkill. So it's pretty straightforward. Just do any heist on Overkill and you, uh, you have to make sure you're using... Uh, the AK-17 rifle or the Grom, and you have to make sure you're using the uh, PP Bison, and you have to make sure you're using the melee weapon as well. Do not forget the melee weapon. You have to have all of them equipped and able for you to get this achievement. This will uh, unlock you the uh, Red Machine Mask, uh, the Tricolor Material, and the Russian Gamble Pattern. So this is just me going through the patterns and the materials. I really went through the materials, going over each mask, just showing off the materials. I don't really care much about patterns, to be honest with you guys. 
Uh, I really care about materials on masks uh, more than patterns, in my honest opinion. Uh, the patterns don't uh, really look that particularly great, in my opinion. But the materials, however, you can make some stuff with them. Uh, for example, the War Balaclava mask, which looks really goofy. You can actually make it into a decent looking sort of urban army camoed uh, mask and a balaclava, which is quite cool. Um, so. Yeah, this is just me showing off all the materials and stuff, so it's pretty much the end of the video here, video here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, if, if any of this, uh, and, you know, if this video helped you, then leave a like and leave a comment down below saying if it did. If it didn't, I'm really, really sorry. I tried to explain the best I could, but uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much, very much for clicking on the video and taking the time to watch it. And uh, yeah, I really do appreciate it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a, have a wonderful day or evening, wherever you're watching this. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.